This is Fran Torson. Thanks for checking out this video. I recently had an opportunity to preview and test a new graphics collection. VidStickers is a very cool package of animated graphics that is a welcome addition to any video creator's library. If you're using Explaindio or VideoMaker FX, pay attention. This is good. Very, very good. Let me show you some of the animations here. Vid stickers are very easy to insert in a video. Vid stickers makes even newbies look like accomplished animation masters. Dig this. I'm building a real estate scene in Explain to You. The basic Vid stickers package includes a set of animated signs that make the scene come alive. These are all SWF images, flash animation elements you can insert into video makers like Explain to You. You don't have to do anything special to make the images animate because the animation is built right in. You just insert the image into your video maker. The animation's on our autopilot. Isn't this great? These little images really liven up a video. They're kind of like chocolate chips. You can use them very sparingly in your video because you don't really need more than a sweet taste in each bite and every single image is totally delicious. VidStickers has an even more delicious upsell offer with more animations and additional file types, GIF files, and static images. And that expands your possibilities for working with multiple modalities when you're creating Facebook ad campaigns. For instance, I like to start a new campaign with a video ad. I like to let Facebook create my custom audiences and I often retarget those audiences with an image-based ad. When you have visually matching assets, you can develop native ads, and those are proving to be highly effective when you're building a sales funnel. Here's a Christmas collection in the upsell that is to die for, and that's all I'm gonna say about it. I am going to create a bunch of Christmas video memes with these graphics, and I'm betting they will be shared a lot. The VidStickers upsell also has the most badass collection of hand animations I've seen anywhere. I'll share a couple with you, but I'm saving my favorites for some new videos I'm planning. Ditto with the Talkers and Blinkers collection. There are lots of these, and you can use them to transform static images into talking avatars. And you can use them to add a human element to some of your other images, and I'm only showing you a few. If you are like me, you get lots of offers for ginormous graphics packages. And you know what? Most of them are a total waste of money because we never use them. Why don't we use them? Because they are poorly organized and the naming convention for those files makes it hard to identify the content. What the f Look at this. This is a look at one of those giant image packages. We start with a couple of background images, then there are images of colorful, messy paint scenes, some abstract art, and naturally that brings us to cleaning product and sponges, and, and that naturally takes us to bags of lemons, tape measures, and jumping cables. What the? And the image file names leave no clue whatsoever about the content in the pictures. There is nothing about the content that makes the images congruent and you can't tell anything about the video when you look at the file names. Honestly, I'm tired of supporting lazy developers who do not have respect enough for their customers to spend some time naming their files appropriately and organizing their content in a way that makes it easy for a video maker to find content that meets their needs. Vid stickers come in folders that describe what they are and ditto for the file names. I know exactly what each file is about just by looking at the name of the file that spells respect. The animations and images are fresh, clever, and fun. You will use them because they are organized well, they are easy to use, and they are fun to work with. And best of all, your video viewers will love them. Video stickers is a must-have in your video collection.